Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. Today I wanna to show you how to take an SVG file and sort of make it your own. So we're not gonna actually be editing the SVG file th themselves, but to add and um, remove certain images. So for instance, this is an Etsy file that I actually bought and I really liked it. I wanted to use it, but I really only wanted the clouds. So I wanted to make sure that the clouds were separate and they were in this case. So let's get out of this and show you what I ended up making. So I ended up doing, oops, that's what was going on. Okay, I ended up switching out the rainbow and I also wanted to add like be kind at the end of the rainbow. So it looks very different from what we started with, right? So what I uploaded, I'm gonna get started on that. I'm going to make this, I'm gonna move this over and make it a little bit smaller. So what we started with were a set of white clouds, okay? So I'm gonna ungroup it and I'm gonna get rid of this one. I only want this one, right? And then we're gonna go to shapes. So I'm just show, oh, I'm sorry, not shapes, but images. And we're going to type in rainbow and let's see if we can find the same rainbow to begin with i think it's this one um oh maybe it's this one. i think it's this one all right well we'll insert both because i can't remember add to canvas and from here oh yeah i think it's this one right so i will let's get rid of this one so on this guy, all I want are the colors, right? So we're gonna look over here and you can just go and start deleting all the things that we don't need. All right, so we're getting there, right? I'm gonna keep this rainbow the size that it is and I'm gonna make the cloud bigger to support this. Okay, so first thing is, if you notice, I had the clouds the cloud go in and fit within the rainbow. This already had the cutouts. So in order to do it, you would need to, let's arrange and send this to the front. We would wanna make sure that the edges are completely covered in our cloud like it is right now, okay? So if we like this, this is what we're gonna do. Um, we're gonna duplicate this because we don't wanna, this is the right size for this right now, right? So on this one, we're gonna go to contour and we're gonna hide everything. We want a, a full cloud because we're gonna slice out each color so that each color ends where the cloud is. So actually, I'm gonna move this up a little bit there. Okay, so we're gonna grab the cloud and hit shift and the red, and we're gonna slice it out. Okay, and we're just gonna slice right now. We're gonna grab the orange next with the cloud and slice again then the yellow and the cloud and slice again. Then scroll down, I'm gonna get the green and the cloud slice. So you kind of get what we're doing, right? We're creating so that it looks like it was meant to be this way. Um, and then I think the last, oh no, we still have two more colors. Um, the turquoise and the cloud and slice. And then we've got the purple left. So I'm scrolling the purple and the cloud and slice. Okay, so we can move this out of the way. Actually, we can delete this, right? And then we can delete, we can go over here and delete all the slice results. We don't need this. And just this. Okay, so now this curves perfectly for our cloud. So if you wanted to layer, this is what you would want to do, right? And then over here, I want to add a nice sentiment. And this also has the cloud indent. So I want to make sure that my offset covers that so that it looks like it was designed for be kind, right? So let's go to text. And I am using, you know, I always go back to this text. So you guys might be sick of it. Uh, it's from Creative Fabrica. It's called Hannah Berry Coo. And I love it because it looks so delicate, but it's not. It's so easy to work with. Um, and that's why I use it. And so I'm gonna type out be kind and make it bigger. Now, when it comes out, because there's this space, there's a bigger space than I would want it to be, right? So. Um, what we can do is we can ungroup it 
And we can just grab these two and move it closer, like so. Then I'm going to, I'm gonna weld this. I want it to be together. I want it to um, align like that, so I don't want it to be separate. Um, what I was gonna say about Creative Fabrica is, if you go through my link, you can try out Creative Fabrica for a dollar for the whole month, and then cancel if you don't. If you feel like you don't use it enough, then cancel it. But I love it just for the fonts and the fact that um, they all come with commercial license. So if you sell shirts or um, or any projects, then you don't have to worry about owning uh, or having a license to to, to use the fonts. Um, and afterwards assuming that you use the link and you typed in the useless crafter 30 then if you continue then the monthly price will uh the full monthly price will start after that full 30 days and it would have 30 percent off so depending on which package you pick all right so be kind we want an offset and i don't want like a super thick offset so i'm going to try to do maybe 0.10 i don't remember what that is i think that's 0.10 so I'm gonna type in point 0.10. Your offset, you can either move the dial. This line right here is zero. There's no offset. If you move to the left of that, that's a negative in, in, ah, I forgot, a negative, is it a negative offset? Oh, I'm like losing my mind. I can't remember what it's called, but it's when you go inside and then this is to make it bigger, right? So I can move this and make it really big. Um, or you can type it in. So I'm going to type in 0.10 again. And did it go? It didn't. Okay. That was a little bit better. I'm going to do that. Come on. All right. I'm going to move it myself. I'm just going to click apply so that we can get going on this thing. Okay. So now that we have our offset, what I wanted to do is I'm going to do this in white vinyl and be kind. I'm going to do in this like silver multicolor glitter. So the weld over here or the offset is going to be white as well. So it's going to look like that. Okay. So, oops, I guess we can move this. That doesn't matter. So here we wanna do the same thing. We wanna make sure that this is relative in size to everything, because we can resize everything at the end together. But we wanna make sure that this right now, um, you know, looks looks good with the rainbow. So I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller. I kinda like something like that. Okay. And so here you can see that I think that, yeah, this is definitely covering the old rainbow. Um, and maybe if we move it over like this. Okay, so do you see why I was moving that? I was moving that so that this blue is all one piece. It just makes it easier. And then, um, but there's a little purple right there. So I'm gonna move, oops, I'm gonna grab these two. I'm gonna move it like that. So now all the, oh, the orange, hold on. I think that looks good okay so if we like this what we're gonna do is move this down here duplicate this again right so that we have this to cut later but this right here is so that we can slice out the rainbow so that it looks like it's formed exactly for this design so again we're gonna take this the offset and we're gonna grab each color one at a time because we can only slice, oops, hold on. We can only slice two items at one time, right? So we're slicing out the B kind offset and the purple right now. So we're gonna slice and then we're gonna grab the B kind again and slice out the turquoise and we're gonna do one at a time. Same thing like we did last time. And let me move my face over so you can see my scroll bar okay um, be kind and now I'm down to yellow and then be kind scroll down to the orange and slice then be kind and the red and then we'll just clean up so now we can remove this 
and you can it might be easier to just go up here and delete all the slice results that we don't need it's all the funky shapes because we need the rainbow and nope, yeah, we don't need that it's pretty fast right it's not bad okay so this little purple has this little bit right there I, I'm not going to, I don't care about it. So I'm going to get rid of it. I'm going to contour. So contour is a quick way to get rid of something. So I'm removing this. I don't want this in the image anymore. And now it's gone. And I honestly, I don't think that you can even notice it. So this is going to go here. So that little purple was like a little speck right there. I'm not going to worry about it. <laughs> Arrange, send to the front. And so we went from a mandala rainbow with all the intricate cuts here to a mandala cloud with a rainbow that fits perfectly with the message be kind. So that's kind of how you can pick and choose and start to edit and make your own uh, wonderful SVG file to cut um, and turn it into whatever you want. In this case, I'm gonna turn it into a shirt. But all right, I will see you guys. Oh, sorry, wait. No, you wanna resize it. So let's say this is for a shirt. If it's for a girl's shirt, like a young girl, I believe the width should be six inches. We might, you know, you can Google that, but you can rearrange or you can resize it all at one time. When you first make it big, make everything relative to that one piece. So I made everything relative to the rainbow because then you know you can resize everything to fit whatever project it is, but you know that the rainbow is as big as it should be with the words be kind as small as it should be. So, all right, now I hope that was helpful. <laughs> all right, see you guys next time. Let me know what you wanna see, if you have comments or questions, and we'll go from there. Thanks.